All praises is due to Allah, the merciful, the beneficent, the master of the day of judgment. It's to him all glory belongs, that no flesh will glory in your sight. Now, all around the world, prophecy is seen in the movies. Prophecy is heard in the music. We cannot escape prophecy. Prophecy is going to find you. I got some dessert before we get started today. Today's message is going to be enlightening. Now, types and shadows is something, brothers, y'all got to get it. Y'all have to understand that. History repeats itself over and over and over. Now, today I wanted to share something that was really heart-wrenching, okay? The rich homie Quan died. Now, Allah has revealed to me that there's a lot of important men in history who is a type and shadow of Al-Mahdi. This is seen in the life of Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Many others, many other powerful, strong black men. And a couple of weeks ago, it was revealed to me that Rich Homie Kwan is a picture of the Mandy. Rich, Rich Homie Kwan is a picture of me because I'm rich. I'm in there. I am richer than all get. I am so rich because I'm an heir. Now, think about Rich Homie Kwan. His name is Dequantis. My name is Dequant. He is Dequantis Lamar. Now, Lamar is my brother's name. Okay, so just, just look at that. Look at that. He's a picture. He's a picture of the black Mahdi. Or how y'all say it? How y'all say it? Mahdi. He's a picture of him. Okay, what's one of his songs? When I walk through, when I walk through, could you imagine me doing a walk through in front of billions of people? Man, that's why that song came to him. When I walk through, that's a picture of when the Mahdi walks through. Okay, all of the riches is coming to me. Now, let's get started. Start, start. Now, what's going on in Islam is a prophet being received through another prophet. And the prophet Isa, peace be upon him, he gave us that understanding. If we was to go into the Gospels, specifically Matthew chapter 10, verse 40, it reads, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. So what was going on is the nation of Islam is in the dark. Okay, let's just shine some light. Y'all was receiving the Mahdi through the prophet Muhammad. You was receiving a prophet through a prophet. And you was receiving the Mahdi through Muhammad. Now when you reject Muhammad, you're rejecting the Mahdi. And you cannot accept Muhammad without accepting the Mahdi. Now the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, on his last religious speech, he told you that he was the only prophet that was sent to all nations. All the other prophets were sent to their own nation. Now he is giving you the true understanding that he is in the mantle of the Mahdi because according to the Hadiths, the Mahdi will restore true religion. He's guided. How could he not be a prophet? He's guided. He's going to completely fill this earth with equity and with righteousness. Just as it was filled with violence. He's going to do something no man ever done. This man is a prophet. The problem is you don't understand that through the religion of Islam, you were receiving Mahdi through Muhammad. 
And Muhammad is not the owner of this religion. The Mahdi is. So when he told you that the earth was made for him, guess who was talking? It was the Mahdi talking through him because he came in the name of the Mahdi, which is the ultimate Muhammad. The prophet Muhammad, when he said the Shahada, he was not just talking about himself. He was talking about the root. And this example is seen. When we started doing the prayers, Bilal Abin, okay? Bilal Abin Rabbah, three Bs. This guy started off the Adan, and this man started off the prayers. This man woke you up. What is that indicating? That's indicating that the religion of Islam came from somebody black. It was lent to the nation of Ishmael to keep people from Christianity. After he got done with that, he passed that mantle to your Mahdi. And he told you that this man is going to restore true religion. There's no way a man can do something like that except he be a prophet. Not only that, this man is the chief prophet. This man received a double portion. Think of Elijah and Elisha. Elijah came. But the one who came after him had the double portion. And Muhammad came in the name of the Mahdi. And the Mahdi had the double portion. So every time the prophet Muhammad spoke, he was speaking in the name of the Mahdi. Now, what I just gave you was some powerful stuff. Right there in the book of Matthew, Jesus was trying to tell you, if you receive a prophet, through a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. And so Israel and all the nations is going to have to receive the Mahdi right now. It's his time. All this whole time, Islam was like a promissory note until the heir came. The prophet Muhammad was a servant. And guess who else came? Mahdi, he came after because it belongs to him. Now, if you go to Isaiah, just go to Isaiah 49 and 6. It talks about a man who's going to restore the tribes of Israel. He's going to be a light to the Gentiles. How could this man be a light to the Gentiles and raise up the tribes of Israel? The prophet Muhammad didn't do that. So right here we have a clash. We have a clash with what Muhammad said, and we have a clash with what the Bible is saying in the book of Isaiah. The only way this makes sense is, if you understand that Muhammad was a mantle. And Muhammad wasn't really his name. Muhammad was the name of the Mahdi. And you've been receiving a prophet through a prophet this whole time. And now the hypocrisy of the Muslims is being exposed. Because now they are rejecting the man whom they've been receiving this whole time through the prophet Muhammad. Could you imagine how the prophet Muhammad feels right now? Okay, this is utter hypocrisy. This is the same prophet whom your prophet had to go through. He told you, there's no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his messenger. He was saying the Mahdi is his messenger. And this is stuff that these Islamic scholars don't have no clue. They don't know how to break this down, but I was just laying down. And when I woke up this morning, I heard an audience this morning. I heard clapping and the scripture came straight to my mind as I'm getting out of bed. And I already knew the scripture. OK, and it made sense. What you've been doing this whole time in the nation of Islam is receiving a prophet through a prophet. So when you go to the Hadith, when he said he will be of my father's house, speaking of the Mahdi, he was telling the truth because his father was the Mahdi. Okay. The Mahdi is a father. Can't you spell daddy in his name? Dad, the Mahdi is the father. If it wasn't for Al Mahdi, the prophet Isa would have had Paul as his father. Okay. So you got to go through the gospels now with new eyes and you can see. All in times, Jesus was talking about his father. He was talking about the Matthew. When he was talking about the only begotten son, when he was talking about all judgment being placed in the hand of the son, he was talking about the son that if you don't kiss him, God's anger is going to break out on you. Kiss the son, lest he be angry with you. See, the Matthew, he is a son and he's a father. Begotten is going into an heir. He is an heir. 
That's why he's a son and he's a father because he's the chief prophet. He is the man that Paul wanted to be. All these times, Paul was calling himself the father, making his disciples his sons. He was trying his best to be the Matthew. That's what he was trying to do. See, the Matthew, he is a son and he's a father. He is the father of of all the prophets, okay? He's in that Abraham anointing. He has the coat of many colors on. Remember Jacob gave Joseph that coat of many colors. The Matthew is wearing that coat of many colors because he is a messenger not only to the Arabians, but he's a messenger to all nations. God's going to use this man to clean up this earth. And you fail to understand your own Quran. You fail to understand your own scripture. Okay? In his sermon, the prophet Muhammad said that he left behind the Quran and his example, the Sunnah, and that following these would keep people from going astray. He also said that no prophet or apostle would come after him and that no new faith would be born. Okay? He was telling you the truth. He was basically saying, look, this is the Matthew talking through me. This is not my religion. Matthew's coming. And this man is going to be the final messenger. It was just as if I was speaking through him. Okay? And that's where y'all fail to understand. Islam is a religion that you receive a prophet through a prophet. You've been receiving the Mahdi through the prophet Muhammad. Now, I know it makes sense now, okay? For those of you who have understanding, you can understand what Jesus was saying. If you receive a prophet through a prophet, you get a prophet reward because the prophet Muhammad really is the Mahdi and the prophet Muhammad was using Muhammad's name. Now, I know that sounds confusing, but for those who have understanding, you can get it. Could you imagine how the prophet Muhammad feels seeing his people rejecting the water line, rejecting the flow, biting the hand that fed them, and rejecting the chief apostle whom the prophet Muhammad went through? It's just that simple. Okay, so with that being said, I have a few more scriptures I wanted to elaborate on, but I wanted to tell you something else. Think about this. Noah he was a picture of the Matthew. Think about Noah. Noah is going into know or he knows. Okay. This man is a picture of the Matthew. The Matthew is a messenger to all nations. Just like Noah. Noah was a messenger to all nations. So what was the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, talking about when he said that he was the last messenger? He's basically saying, look, I've been speaking to you all through Matthew. And he is the last messenger. We are the last messenger. I and my father is one. He was doing the same thing Jesus was doing. When Jesus said, I and my father is one, he wasn't talking about Paul. He was talking about the Matthew. Everything Jesus said when he talked about the father, he was talking about the Matthew. Because the Matthew came down from heaven. Okay? Came down here from heaven. Okay, this man came from heaven. This man came from glory. He was the voice that was speaking to the prophet Isa saying, this is my beloved son. And when Allah showed me this, he said some things that literally just shocked my faith. I was like, wow. He said, you, his father, you're the Mahdi. You're the Mahdi. You're his father. If it wasn't for the Mahdi, Saul or Paul would be the father of Jesus and Jesus would have went into the same prison as Paul. Think about Potiphar. Potiphar and Potiphar's wife put him in a prison, but it was Pharaoh who got him out the prison. OK, Paul put Jesus in prison and the Matthew got him out. OK, that's too much for y'all today. All right. That's too much. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. Meditate on that. Meditate on that. I'm going to say it again. Jesus was put in prison by one man. And he was pulled out of prison by another man. The Matthew came down from heaven. I told you. I told you. When I came down here, I seen the, the hospital room. Okay? I didn't see it from a view of coming out of my mother's womb. It was like I walked through the walls. It was like I came into the room. And I heard some of the discussion that my mom was having with the doctor. 
And I'll disclose that later. I can't remember all of it, but I know exactly the main subject of what they was talking about. Because the Mahdi came down from glory. This is the reason why Jesus spoke the way he spoke. He kept saying, I am the bread of heaven. I am this. I am that. And then he told you he wasn't speaking his own words. He was speaking the words of the Mahdi. And it's the same thing with the prophet Muhammad. Every time he was speaking, it was his father. The Mahdi speaking through him. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who know the truth when they hear it. Now donate, share, share this truth. Now we need to get this money popping, okay? We need to get this money popping off. Now I'm not begging for money, but it takes money to get things done. We need to get this truth out to our people over there in Palestine that's dying, okay? The Mahdi is here and the house of David is going to be like God. OK, we got a whole lot of work to do and we need your support. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.